Section. Introduction. In simpler terms, stable diffusion has become a powerful tool in the field of text-to-image synthesis, acting as a key component in many text-guided visual applications. This system, specifically designed for text-to-image tasks, uses diffusion operations in a semantically condensed space to improve computational efficiency. At the heart of stable diffusion is a UNet structure that uses iterative sampling to gradually remove noise from a random latent code. This process is aided by a text encoder and an image decoder, which work together to generate images that align with the text. The largest version of this model, SDXL, has a 2.6 billion parameter UNet and two text encoders, making it the highest quality open source model available. To reduce the number of denoising steps, distillation techniques have been applied to pre-trained diffusion models, resulting in models with the same structure but fewer sampling requirements. Other methods, such as post-training quantization and implementation optimizations, have also been explored. We've also looked into the possibility of removing certain elements from large diffusion models, specifically in the base UNet models. Our work aims to apply knowledge distillation methods to the SDXL model, creating two streamlined versions, Segmind Stable Diffusion, SSD1B, and Segmind Vega. We use the base model and fine-tuned versions in the distillation process. These models, with 1.3 billion and 0.74 billion parameter UNets respectively, use layer-level losses to gradually reduce the model size by 20%, 40%, 50%, 60%, and finally 70%. This reduction in model size aims to balance computational efficiency with the preservation of generative capabilities, making SDXL more accessible for a variety of applications. Diffusion-based generative models have been key in achieving high-quality synthesis with broad-mode coverage by gradually removing noise from corrupted data. These models, when combined with pre-trained language models, have significantly improved the quality of text-to-image synthesis. Efforts to speed up the slow sampling process in diffusion models have been widespread. Distillation tailored for diffusion progressively transfers knowledge from a pre-trained diffusion model to a model with fewer sampling steps, while maintaining the same architecture. Our network compression method reduces per-step computation and integrates well with models that use fewer sampling steps. Knowledge distillation has been successful in improving the performance of smaller models by using output level and feature level information from larger source models. Our work extends these distillation pre-training techniques, which have been successful in small but capable general purpose language models and vision transformers, to SDXL. Other studies, such as Snap Fusion, have achieved an efficient UNet for stable diffusion through architecture evolution and step distillation. Our approach, however, requires significantly less computational resources. We propose pruning the UNet by removing blocks, resulting in a significant reduction in model size, up to 70%, and increased inference speeds, up to 100% speed up. We use feature distillation for training diffusion models, demonstrating its remarkable benefits in achieving competitive text to image performance with significantly fewer resources. In summary, our research explores the use of classical architectural compression for SDXL, providing a cost-effective strategy for building compact general-purpose diffusion models with compelling performance. Section Summary Stable Diffusion, SD, is a powerful framework for text-to-image synthesis, using latent diffusion models, LDMs, to generate text-aligned images. This work applies knowledge distillation techniques to compress the SDXL model, resulting in two streamlined variants. SSD1B and Segmind Vega, with reduced model size and improved computational efficiency, while maintaining generative capabilities. The study also highlights the benefits of feature distillation and architectural compression in achieving competitive performance with fewer resources, making SDXL more accessible for various applications. Section. Methodology. In our quest to make SDXL models more compact, we've developed a method that focuses on removing certain transformer layers within attention blocks. We noticed that many of these blocks were redundant, so we carefully removed them without negatively impacting the model's ability to generate data. This approach was inspired by the compression techniques used on Stable Diffusion version 1.5 feet SUNet, and we've applied it to SDXL, resulting in two smaller versions, Segmind Stable Diffusion, SSD1B, and Segmind Vega. Our compression strategy is based on the understanding that some layers can be removed without significantly affecting the model's performance. 
We used insights from various teacher models, including SDXL Base 1.0 and the fine-tuned Zavichroma XL and Juggernaut XL, during the compression process. We found, like BKSDM, that the middle block of the UNet can be removed without significantly affecting image quality. Moreover, we found that removing only the attention layers and the second residual network block maintains image quality better than removing the entire mid-block. Unlike previous work that used block-level losses, we introduced layer-level losses specific to each attention and ResNet layer. This more detailed approach allows us to better assess the model's internal representations, helping us to keep essential features and discard redundant ones. We chose layer-level losses because they are effective at capturing the subtle interactions within the model's architecture. To generate the input for the UNet, we used pre-trained text encoders to get the text embeddings. The latent representations of the image are obtained by the pre-trained VAE. Both text encoders and the VAE are kept frozen during training and only the UNet is trained. The latent representation of an image and its paired text embedding form the basis for our training process. We also developed a task loss, which is calculated through the reverse denoising process. This task loss measures the difference between the sampled noise from the diffusion process and the estimated noise generated by our compact UNet student. The goal is to align the noise distribution of the student with that of the teacher. We trained the compact student to mimic the outputs of the original UNet teacher using an output level knowledge distillation objective. This objective ensures that the overall output distribution of the student aligns with that of the teacher. A key part of our approach is feature-level knowledge distillation, which provides rich guidance for the student's training. The feature-level knowledge distillation objective measures the difference between the feature maps of corresponding layers in both the teacher and student models. Importantly, our approach eliminates the need for additional regressors by ensuring that the dimensionality of feature maps already matches at the end of each layer in both models. The final objective includes the task loss, output-level knowledge distillation, and feature-level knowledge distillation, weighted by coefficients. Even without tuning the loss weights, our approach has proven effective in empirical validation. One advantage of this distillation method is that LoRa weights created for the parent model tend to produce close results without retraining. This could reduce the number of training steps needed to migrate models. To explain our compression strategy, we liken it to distill BERT, which reduces the number of layers while initializing the compact model with original weights. Our compression methodology involves targeted removal strategies in both down and up stages. We initially used SDXL base as the teacher, but later switched it for a fine-tuned model, Zavich Roma XL and finally used Juggernaut XL. We found that changing the teacher significantly improves the quality even if the same dataset is used again. This shows that using multiple expert models can help in teaching new concepts as well as improving the quality of the student. Our compression methodology, inspired by proven techniques, not only reduces model size but also ensures that essential features are retained through the careful removal of redundant blocks. The introduction of layer-level losses further refines this process, contributing to the overall efficiency and effectiveness of our compressed models, SSD1B and Segmind Vega. We used human evaluation of outputs along with heuristics to identify potential attention layers to remove. To create SSD1B, we removed certain layers of SDXL, including the mid-block's attention layers and the second residual network. For Segmind Vega, we removed different layers. This careful pruning process helped us create more efficient models without sacrificing performance. Section Summary in our methodology for compressing SDXL models, we focus on removing redundant transformer layers within attention blocks without compromising the model's generative ability. Inspired by architectural compression techniques, we introduce layer-level losses specific to each attention and ResNet layer to retain essential features while discarding redundant elements. Our approach involves targeted removal strategies in both the down and up stages, resulting in two scaled-down variants, SSD1B and Segmind Vega. Section. Training. In our training process, we use a method known as distillation-based retraining. This involves using a layer-level loss to try and replicate the features at each stage of the teacher UNet. This is a key step in ensuring that the knowledge is transferred effectively and that the generative quality of SDXL is maintained, even in significantly smaller models. Our training strategy, which is inspired by distillation-based retraining, ensures that our smaller models inherit the essential knowledge from the teacher model. 
This allows them to effectively replicate the behavior of the original UNet across various layers, including attention and residual network (ResNet) layers. We trained SSD1B using FP16 mixed precision for a total of 251,000 steps with a constant learning rate of 0.00001 using the Atom optimizer at image resolutions of 1024 by 1024 on 480 gigabytes A100 GPS with an effective batch size of 32. We trained Vega using the same method for a total of 540,000 steps, but with an effective batch size of 128. The datasets we used for training and evaluation include grit and images generated by Midjourney. We have created two distilled versions of Stable Diffusion XL, which are Segmind Stable Diffusion, SSD1B, and Segmind Vega. These versions closely replicate the outputs of the base model, as shown in the figures. All images were generated with the DDPM scheduler, 25 inference steps, and a guidance scale set to 9. We achieved a speed increase of up to 60% with SSD1B and up to 100% with Segmind Vega. The detailed metrics taken on an A100 at 25 steps with DDPM scheduler at guidance scale 9 and batch size 1 are reported in the table. Playground AI, a generative AI startup, conducted a comprehensive blind human preference study involving 1540 unique users and 1000 images to assess the comparative performance of SSD1B and SDXL. The results showed that not only did SSD1B maintain image quality, but it was also slightly preferred over the larger SDXL model. The detailed results of this study are presented in the table. The table shows that SSD1B was preferred in 52.8% of the image pairs, while SDXL was preferred in 47.2% of the pairs. These results highlight the impressive quality preservation of SSD1B and its slight preference among the diverse group of users involved in the blind study.